Today, we're going to be talking about Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, and Carly Russell. Seems like Nicki Minaj cannot enjoy her new home. All these people doing these fake reports. Cardi B up there performing and somebody trying to throw some type of liquid at her, but she was not having it. They picked the wrong celebrity. Carly Russell being charged with misdemeanors. So let's get into these topics of discussions and let's start with Nicki Minaj. Well, let's move on and talk about another female rap star that is having issues these days, and that would be none other than Nicki Minaj. Once again, it seems like they are bothering her in her private life. She cannot enjoy her new home. She is the victim of swatting once again a 911 call claiming a pow pow at her home. Now, this situation about Nicki Minaj and her living is getting out of hand. So, according to TMZ, in a swatting incident that is involving Nicki Minaj that has been involving celebrities, police spoke to Nicki Minaj after arriving and she was not pleased to see the police deputies at her home once again. So, the law enforcement told TMZ that Los Angeles County Sheriff deputies roll with lights and sirens to Nikki's house in San Fernandino Valley on Saturday afternoon after a person called 911 claiming someone was pow pow at the house. Now remember before we reported that they had reported that the lady's house was on fire. Then they had reported that there might be some kind of abuse going on with her son. All of these were found to be false reports and now they are still reporting calling 911 wasting 911 resources talking about somebody had been pow piled at Nicki Minaj's house. Like I said, the situation is getting out of hand. This woman can't even enjoy her new home. I mean, can't they trace these calls? Can't they do something about this? So anyway, it goes on to read that this is not the first time police have gone to Nicki's home after a swatting call. Swatting call, I guess that is code for fake news. So, you know, police came to Nicki Minaj's house after a 911 call last month for false child abuse claims. But anyway, according to TMZ, there have been a number of celebrities targeted with swatting calls, including Miley Cyrus, Ashton Kushner, Justin Bieber, Tom Cruise, Kris Jenner, Paris Hilton, Rihanna, and Justin Timberlake. Now, I did not know about all this, but it seems like this is back to back to back with Nicki Minaj. Now, I don't know about these other celebrities, but this is just getting to be a bit too much. So it goes on to say that it is unclear why someone keeps targeting Nikki. Police are investigating. So this is what is going on with Nikki Minaj. I don't know if it's some of her neighbors that are upset that she has moved into the neighborhood or what is going on. Is it part of the Ops fans or what is really going on? Anyway, let us know what you think about this. Make sure you leave a comment below. Cardi B got water thrown on her while she was performing in Las Vegas on Saturday. I mean, what are wrong with the fans? Why are they throwing things on celebrities? Why would you pay to come see a celebrity and then throw things at the celebrity? Well, Cardi B was not having it. I don't know what was in that cup, some type of liquid, whether it was water, whether it was some alcohol or what it was. But Cardi B was not having it. She came out in a beautiful see-through orange gown. And then someone all of a sudden threw some liquid on Cardi B while she was performing her hit song, Bodak Yellow. And then Cardi B threw a microphone at the fan that had thrown the water on her. I don't know that it was water. Who knows what it was? You can never know. So they picked the wrong celebrity to mess with and then security took action and removed the fan from out of the crowd. So no word if the fan was hurt or not. Hopefully they were not because you know how people like to press charges. But Cardi B was not having it. So we're going to take a look at the video that shows exactly what happened in this situation. So as you can see, Cardi B was not having someone throwing things at her while she was up there on the stage performing. And she retaliated with that microphone. 
I mean, think about it. You just never know what these fans are throwing. Look what happened to BB Rexa. They threw a phone at her and hit her in the face, and a poor woman had to have stitches. And then they threw something at Lotto when she was performing, and Lotto threatened to come out in the crowd and kick somebody's behind. I mean, these celebrities cannot perform in peace. You would think that people who would pay money to see these celebrities would respect the celebrities instead of throwing things at these celebrities. I am just saying. Now, rumor has it that Cardi B may have been a little bit late for the show. Some people are reporting that she might have been about two hours late. So I don't know if that is true or not. So I guess this fan got tired of standing out in the heated sun. You know, it has been hot as of late. And then they had a nerve enough to throw the liquid. They should have been drinking the liquid. And now guess what? People are comparing Cardi B to Millie Vanilli. Millie Vanilli, get out of here. You know, Millie Vanilli didn't even sing the original songs on their tracks. That was not their voices on the track. It would be more acceptable for Cardi B to be up there lip singing because she is the one that laid down the original tracks. Those that is her voice on Bodak Yellow. I mean, she has a very distinctive voice. But the music kept on playing when you look at that TikTok video as if she was still singing. But you know, these celebrities, they use a backtrack. They often use a backtrack and they sing over the backtrack. We know this. But like I said, they picked the wrong celebrity to throw that drink at. But this is what is going on with these two ladies. As for Cardi B, celebrities throwing drinks and stuff at her while she out there performing. As for Nicki Minaj, people calling the popo to constantly come to her house. So this is what is going on with these two female celebrities. Oh, but now that we are talking about Nicki Minaj, what about that documentary that coming out, I believe on Netflix? And they don't have Nicki Minaj in the in the promo video. Isn't this crazy? Such an iconic celebrity would not be in the promo video. See, this is how history gets rewritten. Because somebody does a documentary and they might not like a person and they exclude that person out of the documentary. It's what you call fake news. But hopefully she will be in the documentary. I'm just saying. Well, let's take a look from TMZ at their report on the Nicki Minaj situation about her and this Netflix documentary. According to Tootsie on Nicki Minaj, she influenced Gen Z girls and boys. Netflix can't cut her from history. Well, it seems like that is exactly what they are doing if they don't put her in this documentary for the 50th celebration of her female rap. So Tussie thinks Nicki Minaj would totally snub a Netflix female rapper documentary trailer. So they didn't put her in the trailer, but I wonder if she is in the documentary. So it goes on to say and says, you don't have to be a woman to appreciate greatness. He literally grew up on her music. So it says that in the trailer, they touted virtually every famous lady rapper except for Nicki Minaj in the trailer. What is really going on? Now it said that Lil Baby also agrees with this and recently proclaimed Nicki to be the greatest of all time when it comes to female rappers. So if a lot of people consider her the greatest of all time when it comes to female rappers, why was she not in the trailer? I mean, who is in charge of the trailer? Who is the producer? We have to look and peel the peels back of the onions and see what is going on here. So it says that sources close to the production of Ladies First relate to, relate to TMZ that Nikki does not appear in the four-part docuseries. So she's not even in the docuseries. I mean, this is shocking. This is alarming. Are you just writing Nicki Minaj out of history? What is really going on? Is this truly a documentary? I don't know if I can watch this if they're not going to put Nicki Minaj in it. I mean, isn't she the best-selling female rapper of all time? So Tussie says producers screwed themselves by leaving her out of the trailer. He says they should be so honored to have the queen. So this is very shocking indeed that they could leave the best-selling female rapper of all time out of a docuseries celebrating female in the rap industry. I'm just saying. Is it just me? Let me know how you feel about this entire situation with Nicki Minaj not being in the docuseries celebrating female hip-hop, female in the rap industry. Make sure you leave a comment below. Sound off. I want to hear from you. I mean, do you think I'm delusional or do you think that I have a valid point? Let me know. In other news, reportedly, Carly Russell has been charged with the fake adduction tale. Carla Russell's attorney told TMZ that what we're dealing with is a young lady who made a huge mistake. She's been arrested and she's been charged and she's eager to finish up 
and be through with it. She's dealing with some issues. He said that we look forward to going to court. All right, so this is what Carla Russell's attorney is saying. Saying that she made a huge mistake. And we all know what that mistake was. Is that she falsely reported that she had been adopted. Allegations are that she did this all over to win the attention of a man. And if this is the case, this is just crazy that she would do this to the public to her friends to her family so her attorney said that she has been arrested and she has been charged and they look forward to going to court so they said now that she is facing criminal prosecution and the reason is because police say that she completely fabricated the wild abduction story which prompted a massive and expensive search and we all know that the government does not play about their money so it is said that prosecutors in hoover alabama just charged carly with two misdemeanors false reporting to law enforcement authorities and falsely reporting of an incident so she's getting charged with this so no word whether she will have to pay restitution or not in these cases it is said that each charge carries up to one year in jail so so, you know, I'm thinking that if she has no prior arrest history, that she would probably get probably get probation. So according to police, Carla Russell turned herself in and was released from jail Friday at the post in $2,000 bond. Wow, her bond was only $2,000. Sounds like she's going to be getting a slap on the wrist for this situation. So she should count her lucky stars that she seems to be getting off this easily so it still remains to be seen whether she will serve any time in jail or not but looking at how low her bond was set and that these are misdemeanor charges i highly doubt that this woman will do any time in jail that is just my opinion on this situation but this is what is going on with carly russell she will have her day in court she has been charged she has been released on bond now we're going to take a look at the police press conference that they held announcing these charges against Carly Russell. Earlier today, Hoover police detectives obtained warrants for the arrest of Carly Russell through the Hoover Municipal Court for her actions related to faking her kidnapping and subsequently making false statements to detectives as they investigated this case. Her decisions that night created panic and alarm for the citizens of our city and even across the nation as the concern grew that a kidnapper was on the loose using a small child as bait. This story opened wounds for families whose loved ones really were victims of kidnappings, some of which even helped organize searches in hopes they could find Carly's alive so that her family would not experience the pain and suffering that they felt when their loved ones never returned home. Ms. Russell was released from jail after posting bond. Judging from the amount of phone calls and emails that we've received from people all over the country, I know many are shocked and appalled that Ms. Russell is only being charged with two misdemeanors, despite all the panic and disruption her actions caused. Let me assure you, I too share the same frustration, but existing laws only allow the charges that were filed to be filed. I can tell you that I will be contacting our state legislatures on behalf of law enforcement in Montgomery and asking them to look at this law applied to these facts and urge them to add an enhancement to current legislation when somebody falsely reports kidnapping or another violent crime. As you can see in this video, the police, they are highly upset that they could not charge Carly Russell with more than a misdemeanor. So it appears that she's going to be getting off with a slap on the wrist. So hopefully she has learned her lesson and will move on without having further incidents like these. So busybody, these are the stories that we are following on these three ladies. We're following the story on Cardi B. Cardi B got douched with some water with some type of liquid at a concert and she fought back by throwing a microphone into the crowd. Someone has once again called the popo on Nicki Minaj. I mean, she cannot enjoy her new home. And now this is what is going on with Carly Russell. Carly Russell is facing misdemeanor charges in this entire situation. Let us know what you think about these stories. Make sure you get involved. Make sure you leave a comment below and let us know what you think about these stories and what you think about these situations. We want to hear from you. And as always, busy bodies, thank you so very much for stopping by my page page make sure you like this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up you can go ahead and do that right now and don't forget subscribe to this youtube channel and when you subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when my next video comes out you can come back and support my next video 
This is Liz keeping up with the biz, and I am out. Bye for now. It's Liz with the biz. 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 Yo, this is Liz with the biz. It's Liz with the biz. Telling it how it is, and she gon' keep it real, cause it is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, this is Liz with the biz.